Hello, how y'all doing today? This is Kay. Ooh, Miss Kay just getting in. I just had a little small haul and want to do the daily bread. Good morning, how y'all doing? Sit y'all over here. That's my door opening and closing. Trying to get a breeze, I guess. It's, let me get, let me fix. Oh, oh it just shut all the way that time. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like this. So I can stay so we can get a breeze. How y'all doing today? Happy Wednesday, Miss K off tomorrow. Hey, 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 hey. I am off and I am glad. Would you be mad? Would you be mad? Would you be and then I worked so bad. Ooh. And I left it. That's all right. I'm going to get it next time. Ooh. So we got a small haul, y'all. So we're going to get right into it so I can put it up. Miss K got her a, a Canadian style bacon and pineapple pizza. And y'all know how I love my anchovies. So I got me a pizza. Let me open up this drawer, save my bag. And uh, that's a diet, Dr. Pepper. And then I had to get me some coffee cream or so. I got me some, I got the coffee cake again. It's pretty good. And I so I got that. And I got me some more pizza sauce. Miss K making some more pizza. And <laughs> so I got these on sale. It's two for ten. So I got the uh the salami and pepperoni for my pizzas. And I'm off tomorrow morning, so I want to make me uh, some breakfast. So I'm going to do me some bacon and some waffles tomorrow. I got the waffles already in my freezer. And I'll probably use the bacon and crumble it up on salads, fried and stuff like that. Or, yeah, use it on my salads and just bacon. I'll put it on my pizzas, too. And then I got me some anchovies for my pizzas. And I got me some cheeses for salads and pizzas. I got mozzarella and mild cheddar. And today we're gonna have, this is my today bag. I don't think I'm doing none of this. I don't know, I might do the salad and some. I don't know. But I got me a salad, and this is filling Gouda salad. It got, uh, it look like chicken in there. Is that chicken? Mm -hmm. It look like chicken. And it's uh, red and green lettuce, poppy seeds, vinaigrette. It got Gouda cheese, dried cherries, diced apples, and salted pecans. Oh, that might not be no meat. I don't know. Well, anyway, we got us a salad. And you know I'm going to create the salad. And with the salad, I want to have me an avocado. I slice me some avocado. And I got eggs, but I like to save my eggs for my banana breads and breakfast. So I got me some little boiled eggs. They was only a dollar ninety nine. So I got me some boiled eggs to go on my salad. And I got me some more uh, extra virgin olive oil. I like to bless my food, bless me, and use it to cook and bless myself, teacher. Hi, y'all doing? And this is my. I'm off work bag. <laughs> I got me some little glazed donuts. Donuts. And I haven't had no skins in a long time. And these, this big old bag of skins is only $2. And these are barbecue fried pork skins. Yes. I can't wait to get a hold of them. And I got little stuff, but I just wanted that, you know, to snack on. And um, I believe that's, is that it? Uh-oh, no. Oh! I almost forgot. And I had a taste for me some salmon. Now, I don't know when I'm going to cook these. I probably won't cook these until Sunday. 
But these were on sale. I think these was only $4 a can. And that's that Alaskan pink salmon. So I got that can. And got me another can. That's this, you know, for two different meals. And I love me some pork and beans. Regular old van cap pork and beans with me some um, salmon patties. And I forgot the slaw. So whenever I do this, I got to Sunday to get the slaw. So I probably buy the slaw uh, Saturday when I get off work so I can have slaw. Uh, salmon patties, pork and beans, and I might get me some little hush puppies or something, you know, with the corn in it. I love them hush puppies with corn, but I don't know if Harris Teeter got them. I got to check. So, this is Miss K's small home, and most of the everything was on sale. Y'all know how I do, on sale. So, let's, uh, we're gonna get into the daily bread. This is my work bag. I took a day off yesterday. I, you know, I read the Bible and everything for myself, but you know, sometimes you take your little break every now and then. So we, let's get into the daily bread. And I download uh, a new app, y'all. It's the uh, King James Version Bible for women. It is pink like my Bible. I seen the app and I had to get it. But it's on that phone, y'all. So, dang, I, I wish that tablet would work. I don't know what I did to it, y'all. It's not working no more. It won't charge. So we got to let that go. Okay, so let's see what we got today for the daily bread. That's what I said. All right, now. Okay, this is coming out of Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. And that's Jesus speaking. Again, that's Proverbs 8 and 17. All right, so let's see. Gospel of the day, Matthew chapter 13, 47 through 53. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it, it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angel shall come forth and serve the wicked from among the just and ca shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said unto them, Have ye understood all these things? They say unto him, Yea, Lord. Then said unto them, Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto the man that is a householder, which bringeth forth out his treasure things, new and old. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these parables, he departed thence. Mm. Uh oh, what is this? Okay. And I hope y'all enjoyed the daily bread. And I want to go back. Let me read something again. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked among, and among the just. And they shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said unto them, have ye understood all these things? I needed that today. Lord, I needed that today. I needed that today. I needed that today. I'm going to just, oh, Lord, y'all know I got something I want to say. Lord, forgive me for my sins. I repent right now. If I said or done anything to offend anyone, I apologize in the name of Jesus. But this is from my heart to yours, okay? You know how somebody always trying to taunt you to see if they're going to get a, a rise out of you? And no, this is nothing work-related or nothing. This is YouTube-related, you know? You know how you be in other people's lives and you support them, but they have some people in their lives that's always got something to say, you know, trying to pertain to you. Your conscience and your discernment tells you, it lets you know when somebody is 
kind of, kind of, you know, messing with you a little bit, you know? But it's all good. It's all good. And I've been praying about the situation. I'm a moderator in this person's, on this person's channel, but it's somebody that comes in the chat that's very disrespectful. And, you know, they don't say your name, but you know when they trying to say little things to you. I, you know, I hate to, you know, cut people off on account of somebody else. Jesus didn't cut us off. You know, if he cut us off, that's because we wanted to be cut off. And you got to give people a chance. But when you know, deep down in your heart, you ain't said or done nothing to offend that person, but they always, they keep coming for you and coming for you and coming for you. First thing you do is you pray about it. And whatever God lays on your heart, make sure you got the mind and the, and the sense to understand what God is trying to tell you. I, my, me, Miss K, want to retaliate, and I just want to snap, crackle, and pop. But that's not godly. And I ask the Lord to forgive me for the way I feel. Because, you know, we are human. We are human. And I am a woman. You understand? Not only am I a child of God, but I am a woman. I'm a strong woman. I done been through a lot, and I done came a long way. So I, I got to look at it like the wicked shall be severed from the good, okay? And they place will be in a lake of fire, a burning furnace. And then I read something else earlier today. The Lord say, vengeance is mine. Retaliation is mine. It's all mine. So you know what Miss K gonna do? I'm gonna stay away from this crowd of people that I see that's doing it. And I'm going to sit back and I'm going to let God handle it. He'll fight your battles, y'all. In other words, don't lose composure. Keep your peace and let God fight your battles for you. Honey, I don't play with, I don't play with the Lord nor his children. Because God is love and kind, but he also have a wrath. Be careful when you're messing with God's children, okay? And the same words that come out your mouth, they're going to turn around and come back to you, honey. The world call it karma. The Lord call it you're going to reap what you sow. With that being said, be mindful. Be mindful of what you say to people, about people, and referring to people, okay? Stay on the good side of God, okay? And that's it for today. And I'll see y'all on the next one when I make my play, okay? Talk to you guys later and have a blessed and wonderful day. Peace. Whoosh.